Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. In today's episode we're going to be having a look at text in Power Apps. Um, now I've come across this a few times where I'm trying to kind of uh, format a text um, and I get, you know, I get into a stumbling block. So I just wanted to kind of talk through the different text options you have. So this is where we're going to get to. I wanted to kind of show it. So, you know, we can do this. We can have, we can have all these kind of subscripts and superscripts and we can um, kind of do things more easily as well. So I'm going to insert a new screen first to kind of talk through the different options that we have. Um, so the first one we have is a label, quite often used a lot. Um, so I'm going to say this is a label. And what are the downsides of this one? The downsides of this one to begin with is if I make a, this bold, it makes the whole thing bold, which is great. If I make it normal, um, bold, italics, you see that I can't change the, the format of individual uh, words in the, in the label. So quite often, um, you know, I've been asked, can you just make the label um, underlined, for example, go ahead and underline that, and that will underline the whole thing. So we reach a problem. Okay, but there are ways around that, and we're going to use some of the other features to achieve that. Um, another text option I could use is a text input. Um, so this one isn't really for outputting text, as the word suggests. It's a text input. Um, so this is when I want to um, essentially put in a piece of text in order to be sent elsewhere. So um, say, please add your name. So, you know, it's good to have a, a default text there, so you know um, the kind of thing that you want your user to type in. Uh, you also have hint text, so please add your name in capital letters. So if I didn't want to, um, if I wanted my users to essentially uh, start typing, then this is actually a default text, it's not going to show that. Um, but if I made my default uh, blank instead, oops, I just deleted the whole thing. Uh, luckily it's there. Um, get rid of that and it will tell me instead please add your name in capital letters and therefore as soon as I start typing it's not default it's not stayed there which is very useful so that's one text we could use um, we've got the HTML text so this is where we can actually uh, use um, HTML text to to start bringing it to a bit to life so I'm actually just going to pick up what I used here um, so I've used a bit of a bold and subscript um, in order to really just change the way it looks. I could completely um, customize how I want this to look. Of course, that means I need to know HTML. Um, so for the most part, that's not gonna be too difficult because um, there are some kind of basic functions we can use and there are tools out there that can help us convert things to HTML actually. So if you type into like a HTML converter, you could you know copy and paste from Word and like completely get it to to do the HTML for you, you know, there are ways around it. But hey, we don't always want to be doing things outside of Power Apps and then bringing them in, you know, makes it a bit more difficult. So instead what we can use um, is this rich text editor. Now what this rich text editor does, if I um, kind of do it in here, is I can say, hello, I want this, I want this text bold but this text underline, and you can see here, I've got a bunch of options here. So I've got normal text, I've got bolds, so I can actually highlight this and make it bold. I can make um, this text underline. I can, I can uh, essentially put, I can put bullet points. I can have uh, numbering um, and I've got a few other options there. So this is incredible. I can actually use this instead and then kind of send this data. Now, you know, one thing to note here is if you did want to send this data and kind of capture it, etc., um, what you could do is basically take the output from here. So I could take the output and uh, take the, the HTML text, um, and you can see there it's now in HTML text format. Now, the one thing I have to talk about with this one is that unfortunately there isn't a way really um, to take off that top bar. Um, so as a workaround, what we can do is essentially put a label on top, um, and it is a workaround, so you fill it, uh, take out the text, and of course format it a little bit better so that it's not, it's not so obvious, um, and you might, what you might want to do then is uh, perhaps put um, a line or a, a rectangle, which is essentially a line <laughs> in Power Apps, so I might want to do this 
kind of go like that. Now I do want that to be one. And you can see that it's already starting to look a lot neater. Okay, so there's a bit of a work around there. It can definitely be done. Now, the last one um, to kind of chat about uh, very briefly is um, the pen input. So sometimes you might want your user to, to sign something. Um, so I can sign and essentially, you know, I can rub things out, etc. And I can send this data um, and this picture. So if I look at the, the output from here, um, I can take the image from here. So of course, I can take this image and put it somewhere so I can actually sign and keep that data. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope it's helped you hopefully kind of see the power of Power Apps um, and how quick it is, you know, I'm not doing any coding here. I'm uh, clicking buttons and it's uh, giving me all these wonderful options. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed my hat and my Rudolph shirt and the Christmas tree. Thanks so much for taking the time to come and join me on my channel. Thank you.